The everyday citizen is interested, of course, in statistics. However, the classical statistical book is very complex. That's why we need to simplify, to focus, uh, in order to make this form of statistics digestible also for lay people. The video is part of a communication package. The first publication that we will produce is the classical statistical uh, publication with tables and graphs and maps uh, on sustainable development. A second publication uh, will be produced which is in the form of a blog and the video is a kind of animation of this second more layperson oriented uh, publication. And we are now issuing a third publication uh, which is focused on how to communicate in a proper way uh, with indicators. Sustainable development is composed of dimensions and issues which are important for you and for me. This virtual character Anne, she is uh, writing a blog and the blog is about sustainable development. So you can imagine that Anne is interested in creating a blog which is very close to her own interest. That her grandpa is producing organic products. That her friend Marta is interested in income distributions. Indeed, Anne's story shows uh, that Eurostat sustainable development indicators are relevant for everyday lives of EU citizens. It is connected to sustainable development. It's connected to the long-term strategy at UN level which is the Sustainable Development Goal strategy and it is connected to the uh, application of this in the EU. Well, it is important to uh, engage citizens and to let them work with us because we want citizens to be informed and the best way uh, is to let them interact with us and let them become co-producers of statistics. We are using traditional ways, publications, websites, graphs, whatever you, you like. And the youngest babies in our family of communication are these indicator sets, dashboards and videos, blogs, tweets, which are normally used by us uh, on a daily basis.